big, y'all. Oh, holy fucking shit. Oh, what the fuck was that? What is good, everyone? Thanks for coming back to our channel. Hopefully, you guys are all having a very good day today. Um, and today's video is going to be something very unique and actually more on the crazier side. So today we have one of my uh, buddy's car that he just got. It's a C63S Edition 1, but it's not your average C63S Edition 1. Um, this thing is supposed to be making about a thousand horsepower at the crank on, on race fuel. So I believe that's 100 octane. Um, but on pump gas and on his base map, I think it makes somewhere around like 650-ish wheel, which honestly is crazy. So I really can't wait to see what this thing uh, has done to it. I'm aware, I think it has like upgraded turbos, uh, down pipes, intakes, all, all the goodies are given to this thing. And I think this thing is like a sub 10 second quarter mile time on the drag strip. Um, so this is gonna be something really crazy to take a look at. Um, I know in my area, there's really not that many AMGs that get, that, you know, get modded out like that. So being able to see one firsthand, um, for me personally, whoa, the lighting is horrible. Uh, for me personally, is just, you know, something I, I wanna take a look at. So. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Uh, I should be there in about maybe 10, 15 minutes, I guess. And then, yeah, once I get there, I'll start recording and talking about the car and show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, so as you guys can see, I'm pretty much at the spot we're supposed to meet up at. Um, I just spoke to him earlier. He should be here in about a couple minutes or so. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to see what this thing looks like. Again, you're gonna hear me saying that a lot just because the simple fact that AMGs are really expensive to like fully tune and you know reach max potential. Um, as a result, why a lot of people go with BMW and M with their aftermarket, but to see a C63S Edition 1 fully like tuned and you know reaching its max capacity is just not something you see every day. So he should be here any second now. I'm really excited to see his car, but um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Hold up, man. This thing is insane. Oh hey, this this is literally the craziest AMG I've seen in my life. This is wild. By the way, I made a mistake. This is not an edition one. This is, I guess, a regular C63. I thought it was an edition one, unless he got the stripes removed, but he has really nice wheels, carbon ceramic brakes and everything. I mean, look how this thing looks sitting next to my car. My car looks like, <laughs> I'm not even gonna talk about it, but man, that's crazy. He has these really nice gold wheels, carbon ceramic brakes. V8 by turbo, this thing is, this thing is insane. All right guys, so this is everything that's pretty much done to the car underneath the hood and wow, literally just check this out. So again, this is actually a C63S. The owner just told me, uh, a C63S edition one, the owner just did tell me that the previous owner before him did take off the stripe, which I don't know how I feel about that. I really was a fan of the yellow stripe, but let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. But look at this thing, man. This is just, this is literally like, I think the max level a C63S can reach. This is wild. Man. Okay, so now we're finally in this thing. Um, so I have the owner he's sitting right here next to me and as we're like driving around, I'm gonna ask him a few questions because he actually used to have a W204, right? He had a W204 C63. So having the transition from W204 to W205 is, some might like it, some might not. Um, but I mean, if you're transitioning to a pretty much fully built c63 i mean you're pretty much gonna like it this thing literally has a full exhaust system upgraded turbos downpipes upgraded intakes tune and like this thing is just like the one literally the max level c63 you can pretty much get so i have the owner right here next to me i'm gonna ask him a few questions as we drive around and hopefully he'll be able to answer those questions <laughs> So right now he's at 750 wheel and this thing is wild. What tires are on this car, if you don't mind me asking? It actually didn't spin too bad. Are you on Nittles or anything? Yeah, yeah. Nittles, he's on Nittles, I figured. Bro, this thing was hooking and moving, man. But um, 
I'm not gonna lie, if you guys seen a few weeks ago, I was in a stage two W205 C63. His thing was making about like 520, 530 wheel, give or take. And that thing was moving, but this thing is making like another two, 300 more wheel. And it's a coupe as well. So like the difference is definitely noticeable. You guys can definitely hear it. Hopefully the camera's picking up like how everything sounds. And this thing is just, it's, it's just crazy. Uh, Sounds insane. Look at those downshifts. Jeez. That thing sounds so crazy, but holy shit. So anyways, now that we're like all driving in this car and we're just chilling, so what do you what do you enjoy driving more? W204, W205, like overall as a car, which one did you enjoy more? To be honest, the W204 is by far handled better. Yeah. And it was more controllable. Mm -hmm. uh, but this car is uh, just all just straight line speed. So, yeah. as in power wise, I would take this, but W204 is definitely like, I, was, I, I feel like it was corners so fast. It yeah. Was, it was now, so like responsive. Now, what about the difference do you feel like in transmission? Because people say the W204 transmission was kind of its like biggest downfall. It's kind of slow. But how do you compare the transmission in this to the W204? Oh, yeah, no. This one. Shifts a lot faster. Nice. It also has a TCU too. Yeah. Also, it even has a transmission tune. So, yeah, so. so this thing is for sure shifting pretty fast. But yeah, no. Um, I'm just asking that because I know a lot of people who have been in W205s before, like firsthand, and like 204s better. Um, but it's all opinion based. I mean, at the end of the day, they both have you know hand built AMG V8s. Some people prefer the 6.2 NA. Some people like the 4 liter twin turbocharged V8. But um. I mean, at the end of the day, you still have a V8. Obviously, it's really rare these days in AMGs, especially in C-Classes, because we all know that they discontinue them for whatever reasons um, with the emissions and all that. But um, it's nice to see uh, some people transition from 204s to 205 and 205 to 204s and then just have them talk about like the differences and stuff like that. Let's see if I get a pull over here. getting used to it and everything yeah. right getting used to like the power bro this is just insane man bro this is just wild This is for sure like the fastest has to be like the fastest amg i've been on now this does this thing run on um race fuel in it uh it can it can right it and then more power. yeah it'll make more power yeah 
But man, even on regular, this is on 93 gas right now, right? Or do you have it on a... Does it take any e-mixes or anything? Or? No, just... Yeah, this is just regular 93 gas and it's moving like this. This is insane. Let's see if I get a pull over here. This car you've like beat in this thing, holy shit! Bro, honestly, yeah, I haven't even been racing that much of this. I gotta start. You're still getting used to it and everything, yeah. right? You're getting used to like the power, bro. This is just insane, man. Bro, <sighs> this is just wild. dry carbon casual iwc watch like a five thousand dollar watch just chilling in here nothing crazy these really nice diamond stitch seats these are really nice i'll show you guys more of the interior when i get out but this is this is like overall perfect man i think having a v8 sounds like this moves this quick has a still pretty up-to-date interior other than the screen being small but full alcantara wheel this is just wild and this is pretty much what the back looks like I don't even think you can fit a person back there, right? It's, it's a little tight. It's a little tight. So, like, if you're, if you're in, like, below maybe 5'3", you should be able to fit. But other than that, I, I don't know. It's kind of pointless to have. All right, so we're back at the spot we originally were. I'm going to show you guys a bit of this interior. Look at, check out these seats, man. Wow. AMG Edition 1, full Alcantara, steering wheel. This is just insane. You got the OG analogs. I know some people are a fan of them. Some people are not. Some people, some people like the digital display. But overall interior, man, this thing is just flawless. All right, guys. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for the video today. It's so cold out here. He's about to leave. But um, all I can tell you guys is that this experience was just insane. Like, this was one of the craziest AMGs I've ever seen in my life. Look at that thing. Sounds insane, bro. And then we have my little cute little C43 with a little Rentec badge because that's who's tuned by. But <laughs> bro, when I when I go back and sit inside this thing and look at it after just being inside that thing, I don't know, bro. It feels weird, but I mean, what are you gonna do at the end of the day? I'm still grateful for this thing. I love this car. But um, C63S coupe, probably the next dream car. I've been saying that for a while. Um, my goal is in the future to have this as the daily and have a C63S as like the weekend fun car We will drive V8 and do whatever I want to do with it or an E63S. So hopefully in time, you know how things go in life and um, Get my bread up and do whatever I got to do that all that works. But, um, but as of right now, this is my car And yeah, that's pretty much it And that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for the video um, <laughs> I'm still trying to process like what I was just in how fast and loud it was um, but man that thing is just that thing's insane but um yeah that's pretty much it for the video if you guys are new here or not please like comment subscribe all that good stuff i appreciate all the support you guys give me it truly means a lot and um yeah that's pretty much it see you guys in the next one